We're on the air. Action. Hi there. Welcome. Welcome, Malcolm. Welcome, Malcolm. Welcome, Malcolm. Welcome, Malcolm. Hey, Phil. We're on The Lion Roars with Phil right. Margo. And, and I'm roaring, and there's the lion. See, oh, wait. Where's my lion? I have lots. You know, I have lots of lions in my room. And, there's the one. There's the two on top. Yeah. See. Anyway. Well, well, I, I know you've done a lot, and we'll cover that next uh, the next show yeah, on yes. Up Close um, and Personal. But yeah, uh, yeah. this so, is a political show. So there was supposed to be 20, 20 million people vaccinated by now. There's not even 2 million people vaccinated because of Debbie's genius moron in the White House. And, and the fault goes to no one else. You know why? Because he's at the top. And, you know, a fish dies from the top, it stinks from the it's bottom from the top down. down. And, and all of those people who are enabling him are Nazis. I mean, they're Nazis. And they don't care about the people of this country. And they don't care that there is 330 people, 333,000 people, people dead. Dead. Because this asshole acted like a potentate instead of a president. And that's what an, 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 an evil potentate. potentate. And that is it. And anyone who doesn't see that is just completely dehumanized. Maybe she maybe the Kool-Aid they give you that dehumanizes you. Because there are a lot of people that are dehumanized. They really are. Anybody who walks around without a mask and doesn't keep distance is dehumanized because they don't care about getting anybody else sick. It's pathetic. Well, they're still, they're still they, going around without masks. I, I, I'm, I'm running the, uh, you know, going over the track over in Sherman Oaks, and there are people without masks on. And I look at them like it's, it's unbelievable. Hard, I mean, it's hard to run without a mask, you know? It's hard to but, run with a mask. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to run with the mask, you know what I mean? But, but I, I, you know, this thing is getting worse and worse. Don't they see that? Don't they see by their actions that it's getting worse and worse? It's not getting better. No, it's... It's getting worse and worse every day. And then this moron decides not to sign the, the agreement. And then he decides, yes, to sign it. So he delayed people from getting help. help. <laughs> it's... It, it, it does... It, it, it defies any sense at all. Well, it's confusing because there are three or two different bills uh, uh, that the Congress gave him, you know, and one has to do with the uh, funding the Pentagon, funding the army, funding the Pentagon, funding and the, the army, uh, funding and the country, and uh, the stimulus. Yep. And if you put it up in the Senate, they would pass it. The very would pass to 2002, I think they would. Yeah, but, but the, uh, McConnell wants to do the uh, three, want three bills uh, rolled into one, which I don't think the, uh, the, the Dems would like. I, you don't have to. McConnell is a crook. He, he, his wife is a crook. They, do, they did things. All of them are going to get pardoned, and you can't be pardoned unless you did something crooked. You don't get pardoned for saying good morning, how nice you look. Or you don't get pardoned for using an extra napkin. You know, you get pardoned for doing something criminal. And anybody who accepts a pardon did something criminal. Well, that's why supposedly Giuliani didn't get to his pardon yet. Well, I mean, it's so haywire. I don't know how anyone... and. And then you're going to do this thing in the Senate. We're going to try to convince Pence not to allow Biden to be. Birthed. I mean, it's it's they're standing in front of you saying to, to they're standing in front of the country telling them we're performing a coup. We're going to take an election that nobody could prove. Even the people that says it was fixed, nobody could prove it. They brought no proof. When is it, when is Debbie going to get to the point where? Hey, they brought no proof. I wonder why. No, I mean, she, 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 she's she's convinced it was rigged. It's a rigged election. But there's no proof. Uh, you can't you can't talk her out of it. I don't want you. you there's no point talking her out. You shouldn't talk to her at all. You shouldn't give her any air because you shouldn't let people mm. hear that shit. 
You see, well, I don't think he, I, I, look, I think people deserve to say their point. But when it's a flat out lie that's proven over and over again, sometimes you have to say, hey, the public good is more important than her. Her, I mean, they don't, those people who don't wear masks don't give a shit about my rights. Why should I give you a right shit about their rights? It's not, not, not their rights, but I'm, I'm, I'm a. Uh... He's uh, fermenting the cool. He wants. No, to... I'm, 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 an, I'm an optimist. I, I believe that uh, I could switch people's minds by uh, talking logic, no, no. logic you to them. You can't change these. So, so far, I haven't. You can't. But the thing that I want to no, know. They're not, they're not citizens of the United States. They're citizens of Trumpism. Mm -hmm. They're a cult. I don't care what anybody says. Mm -hmm. They're behaving like a cult, cult yeah. and they're behaving like, and, and the Trump administration is like a mob. It's absolutely like a mob. Yeah. Except that they're they rever the the Trump people are reversing things. They're they're uh, you know they're they're saying that uh, Biden's people are like the mob, but like the mafia, and everything that. They, well, but that's uh, what they've done. They, you know, when when the election was happening, he said it was rigged before it even happened. The first election, 2016, it was rigged, and then even after it was rigged because he didn't win California. He didn't really expect to win California. Yeah. I mean, the man is delusional. How do you believe someone who's delusional? See, I wouldn't talk to a person. I wouldn't give them a, any air. Oh, because, well, it, you know, like even the news now is shutting them off. That Kaylee dipshit broad, the one who the one who lies for the White House, yeah. she doesn't tell the truth for one second. Now, she was shut off by uh, Jake Tapper over at Yeah, the, she uh, doesn't tell it. I mean, the, come on. We have, CNN. We, we have to... The nation has to base itself on truth. If we don't have truth, we don't have a free nation. Yeah, but there, but there's a large portion of that 72 million people who voted for Trump believe no, that they have the truth. Look, 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 let me disabuse you of that. There was also 50 million people who voted for Nixon. There's, there, there's millions and millions of people who vote for both sides, okay? There are Republicans who will vote Republican. OK, that's what they do. I don't believe in my heart that all of those Republicans that voted for Trump in this election are Trump are Trumpers. I don't believe that they all believe that this election was fixed by now. And I don't believe that they th really think that Trump is truthful or any of the people that he that he hired are honorable and hardworking for the United States of America. I don't believe all of those people believe that. Even some of the Senate and the House, a lot of the House members voted to get a reasonable vote. Sure. A lot of the senators voted, you know, I mean, so I don't, you know, when they bring up the 72 million people, I don't give a shit about that. That's nonsense. Let me see what happens afterwards. Well, that's what we'll find out. Because I don't think he has the legs. I don't think people are gonna follow him at all. I think this is overrated and overdone and they're selling us nonsense well we'll, 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 we'll find out we'll find out a lot uh next week number one they had the georgia I mean, they had the, the georgia's trump elections elected, trump get, get elected as a senator from tennessee or, or arkansas probably if he if he if he uh primaries the the whoever's the senator you know he couldn't get elected in a in a blue state, but yeah, oh, yeah. those red states in South North Dakota, where they're all dying like crazy because they don't believe in wearing masks. Well, they're, they're dying every place. I have to give that an example. They're dying in California. Yeah, but proportionally, don't forget in cities and states like California, where there's so many people, Wyoming has 16 people. So if eight die, that's half the population. If South Dakota, I mean, percentage wise, that people are dying quicker than anybody. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't know if that's a fact, but that's. I, I uh, believe that. Yeah. I believe that. I haven't. I believe it because. Because New York, if you remember, had a lot of deaths because they have so many people. <clears throat> so you can't say, that if New York has forty million people in it and ten thousand people die, and South Dakota has. 20,000 people in it and 10,000 people die. 10,000 people is half Dakota's population. Right, but that's not the way they counted. They, they counted you know, per, per population. They don't they don't give raw numbers. It's what percentage of the that's population. Right. 
But they don't. They just give raw numbers. They, no, they no, no. They, they give the percentage. It's uh, I think like like for the schools, if it was more than three percent or 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 five percent of the uh, student Biden, body, they would cancel. Biden was on again today, talking about how they're not cooperating with him. They're not giving him the information he needs. Why would you do that? Why would you do that if you're an American congressperson? and you care about the American people, why wouldn't you give the incoming administration all the information it needs to catch up, especially during this pandemic and during this financial crisis and during this complete question of honor and truth? Why wouldn't you give them all the information they need? Well, I can tell you why Trump doesn't want it. We heard it. You're hurting the American people. You're hurting the people that put you in office. Even the red people, even the red states, the red states also are dying. You know, they're dying. They're getting COVID. They're losing their jobs. They're losing their businesses. Well, what Trump, Trump is spiteful. What? Trump is spiteful. Spiteful. Yeah, but everybody, but, but not every, yeah. you, what is America? That means every American is spiteful? No, the Congress people are. Guys like Steve Schmidt and people like that, that were, that were, and Nicole Wallace, and all of them were Republicans all these years. They all worked to get Republicans elected. And they all, who just became a Democrat, somebody else just became a Democrat. You know, Steve Schmidt did, and somebody, I mean, a lot of long term Republicans, they don't have a party. They have a, they have a cult. It's like Nazism. It is. You well, can't show me the difference. A party oh. stands for something. <laughs> they don't stand for anything. What do they stand for? I, 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 I just want to know, like, uh, when the uh, Congress passed their bill, uh, you know, the the, uh, uh, the bill the other day. The two grand? The two, no, the, not the two grand. The the, the 600 and the uh, uh, money for the military and for the far, uh, foreign aid. Where was <laughs> Trump at all this? Those are two different bills. I, no, but they they, they package it together. But no, they, they, no, the, 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 no, military bill. President Trump vetoed, and they overrode his veto right. in the House, and and they will probably override it in the Senate. That's separate from the COVID bill. Right, but where where was he? Where where, where was he when Mnuchin uh, uh, was uh, bargaining for that bill? He was on the golf to the Congress. He was playing golf. Yeah, and and then and then at the end when they pass the bill. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, but you know, you tell that to you tell that to Debbie and say he he completely disassociated with himself with COVID with everything with the bill, and then he comes back at the end and says I don't like it. Something that he already agreed to. Right. You can't govern that way. Okay. Get back if, to what if what if is she married? Yes. All right. What if a husband tells her something? To, I swear I'm going to do this, and then the next day he says, "No, I don't want to do it." You think she's going to be pissed? I believe so. Well, then I'm pissed because he lied about everything. Right. Well, I, husband, the well, we're on the same side, so uh, you yeah. know, you're, you're, you're. Uh, she shouldn't get two seconds. You're, 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 you're I mean, arguing. One minute in front of people. You're, you're talking to the choir. Uh, a, you know, no, but a, a poison uh, not, spreads. You never know. Who, this, this fucking guy who blew up that thing in, in, in Nashville. Funny he wasn't a, a black man or 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 a, 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 or a Muslim or a, someone from one of those, you know. Well, I'm, I'm not, until that whole story right comes out, that might have been a personal vendetta. I don't think that might not have been any political cause. It might not have been personal terrorists. Vendetta to blow up a whole block? I don't know. He didn't, but it seemed like he didn't want to uh, uh, blow up uh, so individuals. He gave a warning. There was a countdown. It's a screwed up thing. I'm not sure. I have to hear the whole story before I'll make any judgments. But I have a question for you. What do you think is going to happen Tuesday with the election in Georgia? Do you think uh, we're going to oh, get the two it's, it's very close. We'll see. It depends on who turns out to vote. Because yeah. if we don't get no, two No matter what happens, the Republicans will say it was fixed. Yeah. But but if we don't get two Senate seats, uh, or at least one, Biden is in for a tough time. 
I sent the money. That was like that's all I could do. I hope they win. It would make life easier. It would be yeah. able to, it would be a lot easier to fix this country. Can you can you imagine that if the Senate was uh, as well as the uh, the House being a Democrat as well as the president? Talk about a holiday miracle. We, we, <laughs> we, no, we, that would that would that would make it a lot easier to do a lot of things. But I believe there are a lot of Republicans that want to fix this thing, whose constituents, when they went home, said, look, this is not funny anymore. Get to work and help us. So maybe some of these, you know, not the real wacko ones, but some, there's morons. There's that Louis Gomer, he's a fucking moron. He doesn't know anything. He knows nothing. When he talks, he, he, he blithers. He makes Mr. Bluster look like a fucking professor. And, 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 tell and, everybody who Mr. Bluster was. Now we have a QAnon person in that believes that Hillary Clinton eats babies. I mean, this is the kind of people that, are, that the Republican Party are putting forth. Don't you think that's a problem? Doesn't anybody out there think that's a problem? Do you really believe any of you that that QAnon has a legitimate thing? It's from space, and they're in a plot with aliens to eat baby. And what? I mean, you can't even write this stuff. Well, you maybe uh, at the, at the, at, that's impossible. At the end of this, let, let's. Uh, well, everybody's going to have a script, and in another month there's going to be so many scripts about this. You know, that they're, they're, they're drowning. They're going to drown Hollywood. With stories yeah. about the election and, and and the weird things. Oh, are... I'm sure it is. It's, 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 but somebody's going to do a good one. Maybe Aaron Sorkin or somebody. Or maybe you. No, I have no I have no context. I can't. I have a great story that I'm writing that I, nothing's going to happen with, but it's a wonderful story. I know. We'll, we'll talk about that in the, the next show that we do. Uh, up we close have to fun. I mean, I'm really getting into the characters now. They're, they're really good characters. They're fun. They're fun to write about. You know, and and I and I put it made a timeline to to get there to get there when they get together and when they just miss each other and when you know, I I I I'd love I'd love to see the Aaron Sorkins of you know twenty years from now when they write when they write the movies to see the movies and you know it's going to be uh, you know a good ten years before things are really going to happen more than sensationalism people that re really research I don't know I mean they're, they're making movies I mean Hallmark made fifth, between Hallmark and 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 up channel and lifetime and ion they made they, they were hundreds of christmas movies out hundreds and they were shot this year and it didn't look like there was any great provisions when they made them people kissed you know i'm sure they had testing every testing. second but they made these movies in vancouver you know they made a lot of them in canada and then you know they shoot it in Vancouver, and then they have a shot of the Empire State Building to make you to say, "Oh, you were there in New York." But, you, but the, 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 I, I know you, you've always told me how you like the Hallmark stations. I and like I, them because I, I, I was I like because okay, here's why. It's simple. How many people love to get cards from their relatives for their birthday or their wedding anniversary, and uh, and other cards? A lot of people, right? Yeah, but everybody's waving people, their hands. A card is sent to make life better most of the time, you know. A card is sent to 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 have to help absolve grief, grief, sorry, to help uh, to wish you a happy on a happy occasion. And the Hallmark movies are basically cards. That's all they are. They're cards. Someone loves someone, oh they break up, but then they get back together and they kiss. And it's a card. Well, and they, where, when is the last time you sent a card? Me? I, I send cards. I have cards. I send cards. Yeah, I don't send cards anymore. I don't write letters anymore. Well, I send cards. And I get cards. And I like when I get them. When's the last and, time you got a personal letter? Well, but, but Hallmark movies are... You know they're they're, they're they're silly. There's a silliness to them. There are well, things that happen that are silly. Well, well some some a woman, things. A guy will hear something that a woman says to somebody else, 
that makes it seem like she doesn't love him mm -hmm. and won't ask her what it was and just go off and sulk. And then the woman will have to come and say, what happened? And he says, you said so-and-so. And then she says, no, no, that's not what I meant. I was just about telling him goodbye. Oh, you know, mm -hmm. and, it, and it's so, you know, it's, it's very, it's very um, um, predictable. Yeah, as I say, it's, it's very Hollywood. Well, yeah, but it, but it, Hollywood is in Hollywood. They, Hollywood make made movies, a lot of movies that you don't, you know, that are, that take you different places that you never expect. There's a lot of brilliant writers writing brilliant stuff. Hallmark is Pink World, I call it. Pink you know, World. Pink World, yeah. Everything is sweet and pink. But then Hallmark does murder, does mysteries. You know, they have mysteries that they do. The, the I, I watch a lot of uh, TCM, Turner Classic Movies. And they yeah, have one, well, there's they a had, good one, I'll watch it. They had one of my all-time favorites on, Casablanca. Oh, well. I just watched one that I never saw with Glenn Ford. It was Which, called, um, um, what was it called? Soft Touch. It was really, you know, I like Glenn Ford. Glenn Ford was a very underappreciated actor. Still is. He made he made some. He has a wonderful body of work. He did comedies. He did Blackboard Jungle. He did, you know, he did great westerns. One of the best westerns I ever saw is one that he made. Which one is that? <laughs> one of those. <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, one of those cool. budget westerns. You know, it, it, it was it was. He's a storekeeper that lives in a town and is. Tough guy Broderick Crawford comes into town and he threatens he's going to kill people or something. No, oh, because he was he was a gunfighter. And 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 then they find out that he was his father was a sheriff. Glenn Ford's father was a sheriff, and he he, he, he for, somehow he, he got into a discussion with someone and he, he had the guy throw up a silver three three silver dollars and he shot holes in all three of them. So then they said, oh, you're the, you're the, you're going to save us. Yeah. He says, no, no, no. I never shot anybody. I never I, stood up again. You know, and yeah. it was a great. I, I never shot as a person. It was a, yeah, it was a lovely, lovely movie. It really was. And 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 then he did, you know, courtship of Eddie's father. He did so many movies. Yeah. Of with he made movies with with uh, with uh, Debbie Reynolds. I mean, he worked with everybody, and he he didn't have a great reputation as, uh, as a person. You know, I, I, but, I don't know. I wasn't around at the time. But I love his work. It's just wonderful. So I watched this movie that I'd never seen called Soft Touch with him and Ellen Keys, you know? Evelyn Keys, yeah. Yeah, Ellen Keys, is that it? Evelyn. Evelyn Keys, I'm sorry, right, forgive me. And, and you know, and, and I had never seen it before. So, you know, and I'm a big fan. You know, I, I introduced myself to him at one of the People's Choice Awards many years ago. I was thrilled to just to say hello. You know? I think I had a show. I think it, one of his kids was on the show. Well, he's, my interview he's, shows I, for radio. He's, and he's off. Not he's not celebrated. He doesn't get the he doesn't get the recognition he deserves. He really doesn't. You know, I mean, he made so many good westerns. Really, he, yeah, 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 yeah. I've started to like better is uh, Clint Eastwood. He has a fine body of work. Yes, he does. And, and then I started watching uh, on TV, uh, Rawhide. Well, he was on, I saw Clint Eastwood on a Death Valley Days episode. Probably was one of his most early appearances in the 50s. Death Valley Days, that's... Death Valley Days, right. Yeah. That was that the one that, that Ronald Reagan introduced? Well, no, was Ronald it? Reagan was, was one of them. Yeah. There was a whole bunch of, there was the old ranger first. Stanley Anderson, I think his name was. You know, I'm the old ranger, you know, when he sat at the desk and he said, and you see the, 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 Was that the one brought, uh, brought to you by 20 mule team borax? Yes. You see the horses and the, and, and, and they did some wonderful stories about, like, about Frank Baum when he was out in the West or, or, or you know, or, or uh, recently they won with uh, uh, Mark Twain when he worked at a newspaper, you know. They do some really fun things. I mean, they did. These are these are old as me almost. Right. I, I I think I told you, uh, you know, like during the afternoon, since I'm around, I'm not going anyplace. 
I've been watching um, uh, the Waltons. Oh, I quite. The, 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 I that like is that. speaking about feel good shows. Yeah, they were. They were. They were. I, I never. I never was crazy about that. You know, I couldn't watch the Dukes of Hazard either. No, the Dukes of Hazard, I never got. You know. But, but the, the Waltons is, uh, you know, the, the, it, it's, you know, what's right about people. I think it's, yeah, I think yeah, it's in yeah. South Carolina. And a lot of the stations run, they still run, um, um, what's his name, Andy Griffith, Matt oh, Locke. Andy Griffith is, is on as much, almost as much as Lucille Matt, Ball. Yeah, Matt Locke. And 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 if they run um um, what's his name? Uh, uh, oh God! I can't of course, and, and I love Lucy. But if you see some, uh, like in the morning, sometimes like about six o'clock in the morning, Dragnet. Dun, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Oh, and they run they run uh, um, Hogan's Heroes on Sundays, yeah. which were really fun, funny. They were funny. You know, it was like, how can you make a call about a, about a camp, a prison camp? Right. How, how do you make that funny? Yeah. But it was well, one of the best shows that they have, which is uh, constantly repeated, is MASH. Oh, yeah. Love well, that show. I mean, it's really, to, I, to this, I, to I, this I was, day, it's relevant. I was at the taping of the last MASH. Oh. I went at the taping. I was there watching it. Of course, my, the guy, Donnie Siegel, who I wrote with, was very good friends with Matt, with, uh, with Alan Alda. You know, I worked with a show. I, I worked, we did the Four Seasons as a series and I was a writer on it. Oh, the series? I, I saw the movie. I wrote two episodes. Yeah, it was a movie, but it was also the main the series. I didn't see the series. Yeah. I don't know how long there, but I wrote two episodes yeah. and, you know, and it was, and I worked with Alan. That's how I learned how to really write. Cause he I, 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 Alan seems like a very nice person. I don't know if he is in person. He is. I, I I don't think he's well now, but he is. He is. He's everything you think he is. You look at him in his show as, as that character, and that's him. Mm. And I, I, like that. I, I liked when he did a show with his father, Robert Alder. Yeah, his, he was on Grant Mesh. Right. Yeah. He, he, he was a surgeon also. Yeah, he had polio when he was a kid. And did he? I didn't know. Alan, yeah. But I used to... Uh, uh, Alan Alda played, uh, Robert Alda played in this old movie about uh, George Gershwin. Yes, I remember. And and then at and the end of the movie, it's uh, Oscar Levant. I think Gershwin had passed away because he had uh, like a, a brain tumor. Uh, he yes. passed away and Oscar Levant was playing in Lewiston Stadium. Uh, and he was playing uh, Rhapsody in Blue, which is one of my favorite. Uh, yeah. and, and, uh, it's a beautiful piece. Rhapsodies. But it starts out with a, a close up of uh, Oscar Levan's fingers. And the camera slowly comes back, and you see the piano. Then it comes back more, and you see the, uh, the whole stage. Then it comes back more, you know, a long, long shot. And you see uh, the stage at uh, Lewiston Stadium and New York City behind it. And I, I graduated CCNY. And Lewiston Stadium is uh, the, the the stadium that's uh, I graduated in. Yeah, you know, that yeah. brings back fond memories. Well, every time I see a picture in New York, I you know I, I walk those streets. I walked those streets in New York for ten years, from 1960 to 1972, and then even beyond, probably another few more years when we were, you know, we were in the Ed Sullivan Building, which is now where they do. Uh, 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 Colbert. They did, did, didn't, let, didn't Letterman take that over, I think? Letterman and now Colbert. Colbert. Yeah, Colbert. Uh, actually, I like talking about this better than I like talking about politics. Well, politics is too frustrating. I think once, once we're at a one, we were in a once in history or, or, or rare for the United States of America, we never had anything like this. We never had anything like this. As rough as it got during the Civil War. The Civil War was fought in certain areas. You know what I mean? Yeah. There were battles. It wasn't, you know, unfortunately, cities like Savannah were damaged and things like that. But not a single city in the North was was affected. Well, well we, we, we had this combination played aside from, you know, the politics. But we had the COVID, which really... Well, the COVID, 
the COVID was just another way to show how incompetent this administration was. Oh, oh, definitely, but I mean, as far as he... He was impeached for a reason. He really did those things. They're going to find out that everything he was impeached for, he did. He had a, he had a board off jury. That was it. Mm -hmm. well, well, the whole thing is... Talk about uh, 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 William Barr screwed up that a lot because when, when he... When he uh, it's, uh, I quoted the Mueller uh, investigation when he released the uh, yes, yes, that's his, true. His report. But he said, "Okay, no, no, no culpability." The no Senate collusion. wouldn't allow witnesses, Malcolm. They yeah. wouldn't allow witnesses yeah. to testify at the trial. What kind of thing is uh, that? Uh, a trial? Uh, yeah. I don't care what Boss said. They didn't allow witnesses. Now, was this was before choice. the trial. The Republican said, the Senate uh, senator said, I, I don't have to listen to anybody. I know he's not guilty. Yeah, and, and it's the same bunch of assholes who said when they when they uh, when they wanted to not improve Merrick Garland for Obama, they said you can't do it with this clerk. You can't do it eight months from an election. And 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 Lindsey Graham had it to temerity to say. And you mark my word, you could call me on it if I do it. And he did it. And did, did you call him on it? And no one called no, no one called him on it. He got reelected. Well, well he, he had the uh the new nominee in there while uh uh Ruth Bader Ginsburg was laying in state. Right. I know. Anyway, our half hour is up. Oh, we done, how sad. It, it it's been fun as usual. Yes, not fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm going to see if I can catch the rest of Ari Melba. Okay, but I'm going to I'm going to also speak to you tomorrow. No, we're yeah. not going to talk a word on politics. We're going to talk oh, about that means, that means that. Oh, look at that! Wait, sorry. That's okay. We're going to not talk about politics. We're going to talk about you and the tokens, your musical career, yes. your writing career, and yes. uh, and where you're going from here. And we're gonna have I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to hang on as long as I can. Yeah. And we're going to have your system Watch vaccine my grow as big as they can get. And we're going to have to your system vaccine. Uh, you know, attest to everything that you're saying. Do you get the Hallmark Channel? Uh, Hallmark, yeah. There's a great movie called that's on this week. I think like New Year's Day or the second, called um, uh, oh, uh, Love, Light, and Hanukkah. I don't think I've seen that. Yeah, you watch it. It's adorable. Watch it. You'll get a kick out of it. Love, Lights, and Hanukkah. Love, Lights, and Hanukkah. And that's... Uh, on Homo. New, New Year's Day? I don't know. Do you, have a, do you have a search? Yeah, I'll look it up. You look right. We'll put in Love, Lights, and Hanukkah. With an Remind a. me. But anyway, I will see you tomorrow. You, you can be well. It's fun. Stay safe. Bye. Yeah, yes.